You've been busy. Oh, um, yeah, I couldn't sleep. Right. I brought you some breakfast. Can't eat. <laughs> the thoughts appreciated. That's three nights' work you've just slid into that box. I'll catch up. Jigsaws are for squares. What are you talking about? You've invited this lad here under false... Christian. His name is Christian. You've invited Christian here under false pretenses. With good reason. Can't you even be honest about the way we live, the things we enjoy? You call it dishonesty. I just call it buying time. It was our first meeting, Roy, in a shop with customers and colleagues nosying about. How could telling him the truth be anything but cruel? Or when, or, or if, you do tell him the truth. When? How is he ever going to think of you as anything but a liar? Roy! I'm needed downstairs. Vessel. She nearly bit me flaming head off yesterday. Which is not like her, so there's obviously something wrong. Did you fancy a drink, love? We're off to Rovers. Oh, um, no. Th thanks, Tommy. Might we see you over there then? Should you be walking around with nothing on your feet, Mrs Connor? There could be pins and all sorts. Live dangerously, eh? It's different when it's quiet, isn't it? This place is never quiet. It's full of echoes. You're Oh, sorry, love. Uh, I'm looking for Ailey. You're Christian, aren't you? Oh, she ain't back from work yet. She'll be... Another half hour, what shall I? Just, do you want to sit and wait? She, oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> Christian, you came. Oh, thank you. Um, th this is my friend Becky. Not sure if we've... We've met at the shop. <laughs> and, and this is my husband, Roy. Uh, I've dug out some old forces. I don't suppose you've got... Wonderful snap! <laughs> right, uh, well, uh, come on up. It's nothing special, but it's home sweet home to us. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. See ya. <laughs> Jaffa cakes. Inside a tip off. <laughs> These are the only pictures you've got. I don't know why. You, you move and things get lost. It's a shame. None of the two of you together. Like I said. M may I? <laughs> Nana's garden, H1. Don't get upset. <sighs> Although she is. I was all right. Honestly. <laughs> Mum said he was a bit of a loser. Did she? Was he? Your Roy was no fan, it's pretty obvious. It's complicated. And the name's a giveaway. What's wrong with Harry? He hated it. Always. He and Kath were, were good friends in the teens. Kindred spirits. <laughs> they were both a bit out of the loop. <laughs> Sounds like Mum. Mm, they didn't wear wacky claws or form a band or anything. They didn't draw any attention to themselves. They just spent a lot of time in the bedrooms. Hiding? Talking. Was he into anything? Oh, it's countryside. He was a decent person. He tried his best. Except with me. He didn't even know you existed. You didn't even know I existed. That's not the same thing. Believe me, if he'd have known, I'd have known. He did the best that he could. He had his issues, but he, he tried not to drag other people down with him. The only person he ever hurt, ever knowingly hurt, was himself. Is that how he died? I'd rather know if he killed himself. Suicide? No. No, absolutely not. He, um, 
it was an accident in um, in a car. He was visiting friends. Really, and, uh, it's fine. I didn't come here to upset you. Not after all this time. Like most people. She had a bloke I hated and a couple I quite liked, but she never stuck at anything, really. You can't make someone feel confident, can you? Well, you can, but it takes a long time. I don't know if she was always that way if it was him. Getting dumped, used like that when you're young, takes it out of you. He didn't dump her. I swear, he didn't know he wasn't like that. It's all about what he wasn't. What about what he was? Thoughtful. Loyal. Hard-working. Practical. He loved making things. I didn't think about him for years, and suddenly you start wondering. I might have passed him in the street. I might have sold him a CD. I doubt it. <laughs> have you really got no pictures when he's older? No. Hayley lost touch with Harold. I think we should leave it at that. If you don't mind. We've not finished. We have, more or less, haven't we? Are you going to hover there all night? You've had a busy day, you want to chill. It's fair enough. Finish your tea. Can I have this, please? It, it is my only copy. Oh, no, no, to take it. Take it, I'll, I'll trade you, eh? <laughs> Thanks for the tea, all your effort. Wasn't as warm a welcome as I'd hoped. <laughs> I don't get it, you know. You came looking for me. Roy must have known that. It's me he's angry with, not you. Is he my dad? <sighs> I know, it, it sounds stupid. You've given me a photo and everything, but it don't add up. Maybe you never wanted anything to do with me, and you felt bad about that. Maybe you wanted children. I don't know. Christian, on my life, Roy is not your father. I don't want to cause any trouble in your marriage. Oh, it'll sort itself out in time. Do we need time? And we said all we can say? In one meeting? Or two? You've got your life and I've got mine. We'll be going through the motions. For what? Maybe if we'd met each other sooner. Things would have been different. Well, I don't agree. I think there's still plenty more to say. But it's your life, it's your decision. You've got me numbers just in case. Emergencies. Yeah, you've got mine. Thanks, Ailey. Hope you sort things out. Yeah, bye, love. Good luck. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you and your music. <laughs> sorry. Thanks again. The first holds approximately uh, 1.5 litres of water. Now, this button allows me to release any amount of water from the first compartment into the second. So, uh, if, for example, I wish to make uh, two cups of tea, I simply release two cups full of water into the boiling compartment, thus sparing the energy required to boil the excess. Some good has come out of this. Well, I better let you spell that out for me. Well, he started off with, with no knowledge of his father. Christian, he's called. Uh, 
And now, well, regardless of the veracity or otherwise of his findings, he, he has some answers. I wanted some compassion. Is this how much the truth above all else really means to you? Or is it something else? Because if this scares you half as much as it scares me... I've made my feelings clear. I'm hiding behind a lie. I admit that I'm a coward. You're upset. But life isn't lived in theory, Roy. It's lived in practice. You're an intelligent woman, Haley, And I am not insensitive. Sometimes what I need is support, not principles. Maybe I should get somewhere. You lost? Or are you just nipping out for a sneaky fag? No, neither. Have you ever smoked, Roy? No. Go on. You must have had the odd drag once or twice. At parties when you are a teenager. I never attended many parties. Do you know what my mum would have called you? A right one. Zale's inside. No, no, she went out for some air. Air? The truth is, I don't know where she is. Hmm. A little bit of advice, Roy. You want to be careful, the way you are sometimes, we Ailey. Now, if you're referring to what I think you're referring to... Yes, I am, of course I am. I'd rather not be preached to. <laughs> Do enough of it yourself. Seems to me you're happy to dish it out. Can we end this conversation, please? Sure. Thank you. Not really. Well, I hate to say it, but... Now you've told him you're his auntie, it's... It's not as if you can keep it up, is it? I mean, not if you want him anywhere near Anik, it would you be rumbled within the hour. And even if you do a U-turn and tell him the truth, it's not going to go down too well either now, is it? Oh, by the way, you know I said I was your auntie? Well, I'm not. I'm your father. about it, eh? Do you know what it reminds me of? Star Wars. When Luke Skywalker discovers who his dad is. That he'd, you know, swap sides. I've done a stupid, a stupid thing. Think yourself lucky, Ailey. I've done a million. I'm going to have to walk away now. From my own flesh and blood. I'm going to have to turn around and walk away. Here we are. One green tea. Well, not green tea as such. It's English breakfast, but nevertheless the most environmentally friendly cup that you will have experienced. How are you? Hayley? Um, thanks. I mean, to think that they will happily quaff tea picked by near slave labour. Then stewed in the urn all day, wantonly burning electricity without a thought for the ecological consequences. Well, we never had any complaints from punters. Are you suggesting that my customers won't prefer fair trade tea made with a state-of-the-art eco kettle? I'm suggesting they won't give us stuff either way. Rubbish! Rubbish, of course they will. Look, all thought want from the brew is that it's wet and warm. Like your kex if you carry on with this eco crack. I beg your pardon. <sighs> You're piddling in the wind, Roy. No one cares. Well, I care. We care, don't we, Hayley? Perhaps you prefer it out the urn. Seen it yours? Yeah, yeah, that's right. As if things weren't bad enough for him. Oh, so have they still not managed to patch things up? Well, I don't know, Fizz, and even if I did, I wouldn't tell you, because it's Ashley's business, isn't it? No, no, fun, you. Have you only just been that one out? No. Hey, me. Are you all right, Hayley? Uh, fine, thanks. Only you've seen yourself? <sighs> That's a trouble, isn't it? That's always been my trouble. Why, 
Has Sean gone again? Oh, he's nicked out some fresh air. Another hangover, I reckon. <laughs> it's Marcus. He might be a doctor, but he's doing now for that lad's help. He's not a doctor, he's a midwife. <gasps> that would be a midwife. That doesn't seem right, somehow. No, it should be a mid-husband, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what use would they be when you give him birth? Half of them would faint, other half would be reading flaming papers. <laughs> I don't know, though, if you look like Marcus. Oh, you've got the arts, have you? You'll have to get yourself preggers. Yeah, I'll just shove a cushion up your jumper. Yeah. She don't even need to do that. Are you? Just because someone let a bit of wind out of you today. Oh, please, will you just shut up? I can't concentrate with this incessant, empty-headed chatter going on, and neither can you, I'm sure. So just button it and start grafting, please. Would anybody like a cup of tea? Oh, you're going to be right in road there. Uh, I won't be long. Although it might be worth taking a moment to reflect on the significance of what I'm doing here. This may be one small set of steps for a man. But it is a giant leap for mankind. What? Just paraphrasing there. Neil Armstrong, the astronaut, conquered the moon. Anyway, what I'm doing might just save the planet. Thought you were changing that light bulb, what went? Oh, Changed you far more than that. This is the last of the old bulbs. Once I've installed the new one, the entire cafe will be lit by energy efficient light bulbs. What do you want me to do, eh? Blow a trumpet. Hey, I could run to a raspberry. Yes, well, it is a landmark moment. Do you realise that if every household installed one of these, you'd save enough carbon dioxide to fill the Royal Albert Hall 2,000 times, nearly? Really? Ooh, if they filled it while them toffee-nosed prats was waving the flags, I'd be all in favour. Hayley and I quite enjoy the proms, actually. They yeah, don't seem to be enjoying much at all lately. There we are. You never know the difference. I'm worried about her, Roy. I appreciate your concern. Hayley's fine. She's not fine, and you know it. Ever since she met Christian. It has been nothing but trouble. She's trying to put all that behind her, and it's not helping with you constantly reminding her. I don't need to remind her. She thinks about no else. She can see it. She will get over it in time. Oh, you're fooling yourself, Roy. Either that or you're as dim as them flaming light bulbs. Yes, I do comprehend you, Deb. You want pickle, not chutney. Believe me, love, you do not have to be a rocket scientist to take a sandwich order. Yeah, yeah, it'd be ready and waiting. Bye, bye. Oh, Deb, phoning his order through. Make sure he gets chutney. Is uh, Hayley on her way? Oh, do you know what, Rosh? She didn't fancy it. She's been in a very strange mood all morning. She even lost a rag with us. I was very discombobulated. Oh, no, I think you're getting a bit confused there, love. You, you can't just make up words. Yeah, Bethany Platt's been taken hospital, strapped to a stretcher and everything. She were well out of it. She were blue? Yeah. So what else did he say? Well, not a lot, really. He just seemed a bit worried about your spouse. Hey, it's his birthday on Friday, isn't it? How old will he be? 53. Well, well, tell him it doesn't look a day over 52. <laughs> Are you all right, Amy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about earlier, Ed. That, that goes for everyone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to react like that. I, uh, I'm just a bit tired. Uh, react like what? I don't know what she's talking about. Don't you remember when Harry told us to be quiet? It's called being dry, love. Just ignore her. Who? <laughs> well, Janice. Who else? I think she'll call it. I don't know. Do you think Sean will have a say? Well, I'm sure it involves his disapproval if it likes invention. Janet, John, Peter, Paul, that kind of thing. Mm. I don't know. What's Violet's last name? Uh, Wilson. Hey, you could call it Jockey. Lawler, <laughs> Dante, Rufus, Venus, Willow. What about Spignia? Do you know what they play in Polish schools? Spot the vowel. <laughs> it's a very popular name. Zbigniew Bunyak, for example. His nickname was Zbigniew. Who's he? Doesn't Sean make football? Sean? Oh, no, he's more of a rugby league man. Yeah, he used to play prop forward at school. And I'm a distance runner. Uh, you can't kid a kiddo. <laughs> Zippy Wilson? Yeah, he'd like that. I'm 
Mrs. Connor, I'm really sorry. What for? Of taking an unauthorised break. Oh, well, yeah, I should really fire on the spot. In fact, get out and have darkened my doors again. Hey. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I usually have a thank you. What's up, love? Got it. Don't worry about me, Miss Connor. I'm fine. And I'll make up for lost time, I promise. Lost time, Helly. You work for your lunch hour. Has somebody upset you? <laughs> Who could upset me, eh? Why does nails? <laughs> Actually, Hayley, I think you are. How about this for an idea? I come in here, you take my order, and you give me a stopwatch. Yeah? Set to the amount of time that you estimate my order's going to take. And then, if the watch hits zero, a dear me, it's free! Yes, we have some new equipment. Uh, speed may at times be compromised, but your grandchildren's planet is not right. Becky! Why are you using paper towels? You know, but Roy, I phoned the order through. Roy, well, what if someone slips again. and goes for compo while I'm faffing about getting mop, eh? Like him, for example. What a tragedy that'd be. Mm. Mm. Oh, is that mine? Thank you for your patience. No, thank you. And I mean that on behalf of my grandchildren, obviously, but also their grandchildren's grandchildren. And meanwhile, Roy, I need another shave. Stop, stop what you're doing now. Oh, chill out, will you? You know full well what the procedure is. You're doing this on purpose. Oh, you are doing my head in. And I will not chill out. And as for doing your head in, that must be the most vulgar turn of phrase to have entered the English language in the last 20 years, and it has some competition. I'll give you discombobulated. Becky, Becky, Becky. Hey, stop freaking out about paper towels, eh? Why don't you worry about your wife? Haley's coping fine. I'm not daft, Roy. Neither are you. I'll fetch a mop. Do you, uh, like a cup of tea? Oh, no, no, thanks. We've been on the end of some particularly cruel jibes this afternoon. Lloyd said he'd got a couple of hours to spare, so he'd wait for the kettle to warm up. And, and Dev was uh, equally custing. I've taken Friday off. I've asked Mrs Connor. I thought we could do something for your birthday. Maybe go away somewhere. Breathe again. She even asked me if I needed any more time. She was very understanding. But you, you, you didn't alert her as to the circumstances? No. Well, I, I'm not sure if Becky should be left in, entirely alone. But, but it would be nice to go away together. I feel old today, Roy. I should try standing in my shoes. I think I'll have a nice hot bath. I wonder how all the people let off steam. Excuse me. Excuse me, how long does it take to make a cup of coffee? Is that one of them jokes? Is that what? You know, like, how many people does it take to change a light bulb? No. So do I get an answer? Look, knowing how long it's going to take ain't going to make it happen any quicker, is it? So you may as well just wait. Now, Roy, this is becoming very irritating. Because yesterday I had to wait for a sandwich and today I have to wait for a coffee. Yeah, I, I, I'm afraid that the kettle does take a little longer than the urn, but it does mean that we don't have to waste a ridiculous amount of energy <laughs> keeping a vast quantity of water constantly heated. No, Roy, but it means I have to waste a ridiculous amount of time waiting for it. Do you know, you'd do well to examine your own carbon footprint. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I know that already, Roy. It's a size 10. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, that's it. That's it. Let's make a joke of it. It's far easier than having a conscience or, God forbid, actually doing something about it. Oh, come on, Roy. I'm just... Oh, don't come on me! With your freezers humming away all day and your, and your shelves full of plastic and tins. Do you know, it is the attitude of people... No, the lethargy of people like you that is killing this planet. You didn't come to the pub? Oh, no. Are you all right? Fine, thanks. That's why you sit on the bench to eat when your husband runs a cafe. Is it the little girl? She's a goddaughter, isn't she? Oh, yeah, yeah, I am, I am a bit worried about her. We never stop worrying about them. Even when they're grown up. You've got a son back in Poland, haven't you? Yes. Jakub. <laughs> He's 21. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do? Oh, he's at university. That's why I'm here, to help pay for his education. You must miss him. All the time. Cheers. Yes, Hayley, what can I get you? Um, a glass of white wine, please. Not often we see you in here drinking on your own. Is it a crime? Oh, no, I was just saying. Learning. Any chance of, you know, giving me a hand any time soon? Weddings don't plan themselves, love. Right. Here we are, 220, please. Thanks. Thank you. Vernon. Hmm? You know, we were talking before about having a theme for a wedding. Oh. Saturday night fever. We are only having a laugh, though, weren't we? No, I wasn't. Ah, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Listen, I thought I'd be in the top hat and tails and you in something gorgeous. Oh, wow. Well. Can't spend too much, though. Hey, nothing is too much for my lady. You, you, you have whatever you want, love. Money, no object. <sighs> Drinking alone. Not you and all. Can't I have a bit of peace without thought beating things into it? Didn't know doves were your cup of tea. Not some at Christian's in, to any chance. It's not working, is it? What? You doing what Roy wants just because you feel guilty? You're dying to see Christian, so just tell Roy that's what you're doing and he'll get over it. No, he won't. Well, you won't get over not seeing your son neither, so what are you going to do? Do you know what? I give up. You two want your heads banging together. Blimey, Roy, how many is that? Four. One less than last year. Can't stop what day you know, oh. You need some more mates, love. Here, open this one first. Now, I'm suspecting that this is a book. <laughs> no flies on you, Roy. Wainwright's Guide to the Lakeland Fells. But you might recognise a kindred spirit. Thank you, Hayley. Big one, no. Oh. I hate to estimate the number of trees felled in order to provide the wrapping paper. All 100% recycled. Well, I'm guessing that's a giant's bluff. I believe Table 4 wants clear. Come on, here we go. Watch your bike, the man who's got everything, eh? Oh, I shouldn't have spent all that money. Four cards, a book and a tent. Can you stand it? <laughs> hey, not forgetting. Ta-da! Oh, thank you. Well, it's, it's kind of for both of you, really. Let's just say it's an intimate, personal item no couple should be without. Well, come on, get it opened. Becky, that's really nice. Yeah, hold your valuables under your clothes in case anyone tries to nick them. Oh, that, that, that's that's very thoughtful. Th thank you. That's that's very kind, Becky. So it's all eco-friendly holidays from now on. <laughs> yep. 
get your car in on chip fat, you've cracked it. <laughs> well, actually, you know, that's not such an outlandish proposition. Sorry, no time. Bacon butter table one. <laughs> I don't deserve all this. Yes, you do. You deserve a day off as well. I think we both do. Thank you, Hale. Happy birthday, boy. I'm uh, looking for Mr Cropper. Ah, oh, you rang us. Green, clean and friendly. Oh, hello. Which one are you? You know, about the electric. Uh, Andrew Mail, how do you do? Ah, yes. Now, just let me show you where everything oh, is. Oh, right. We really need to be getting away. It shouldn't take more than an hour to go through all the modification proposals. An hour? Well, why don't I do it? Oh, no. No, actually, I have enough on with my different coloured buckets. Hey, look, every day we put this off. I know the planet suffers, but in this case, so do we unless we get going. Can't we reschedule for next week? Well, I'd have to look at my diary, but um, suppose we can manage something. Let's do that then. Come on. I, I, I shall give you a ring tomorrow. I'm, I'm sorry about this. See ya. Well, you might as well sit down, love, seeing as you're here. Now, tea or coffee? Coming in the car is hardly what you'd call diminishing your carbon footprint, is it? Oh, honestly, Roy. If we'd have waited for the bus, we'd never have got here. Anyway, you're allowed. It's your birthday. And I'm spending it polluting the countryside. No, we are spending it together, away from everybody else, and we're going to have a good time. It's as nice a spot as any, what do you think? Uh... I was considering over that side. I mean, this south-facing, but uh, that's more shaded. That way you, you get the advantage of the light without the harmful radiation. There's less chance of being damp here, though, eh? Five more minutes. Uh, the exercise will do us no harm. Mm. Good. I'm so ready for attacking them buses. Listen. What? How quiet it is. Oh, yeah, I know. It's fantastic, isn't it? That's what we're here for, after all. No, I mean, how much quieter than it used to be. It's before we started killing off all the birds. Not us as such, though, eh, Roy? Right. I mean, we do feed them and that. It'll never be enough. Come on, give them a few crumbs off me, butty. It is a generous thought, Haley, but uh, it doesn't really take into account the global scale of the problem. You mean like people needing to act instead of burying their heads in the sand, hoping all the awkward stuff will go away? Like we've been doing all week. I, I was actually talking about a, a worldwide ecological problem. Not, not something that uh, I was given to understand was no longer an issue. I want to see him, Roy. I want to see Christian again. I want to do it my way and I don't want you to try and stop me. In Tibet, you know, they put butter and, and salt and soda in their tea. I'm sorry, Roy. I honestly didn't mean to spoil your day out. I often thought we ought to give it a try. Not with the customers, obviously. Roy, let's do popular teas of the world another time, eh? I've said I want to see Christian again, and you've just shut down. I'm just trying to come to terms with the, the implications. I told you, Christian could never be a threat to us. Nothing ever could. And would seeing him again involve confronting the truth this time? It's the truth, really, that marvellous that it's worth going round ruining other people's lives with it. Well, it's ruining ours. Can't you see that? Oh, we've been here before. If you must see him, you must tell him the truth. For Christian's sake, yes, but... Well, for us... As a couple. I, I know what we've said about, about not having to choose, but... That's what it's come down to? You or Christian? No. I, what, what, is, 
what, what am I trying to say? Well, maybe. Perhaps, perhaps that, that is the choice. The truth or uh, our future. Whether without it we uh, even have one. Starting to cloud over. Isn't that beautiful, Ailey? It was Errol's. I thought it might help give Christian a sort of connection, you know, something he could touch and feel. It's a fine gesture. I'm sure he'll love it, Ailey. <laughs> well, if worst comes to worst, it'll give him something to remember me by. Hey, come on, don't say that. Tell her, Roy. Okay, what's going on? Because you two have been weird with each other all morning. I'm going to tell Christian the truth about me. Ailey, please tell me Roy's not making you do this. No. Because if he is, that is so not on. It's my decision, Becky. Sooner or later he has to find out. Ailey, love, wake up. He's not ready for this. Neither of you are. Just leave it, please, eh? I don't believe this is happening. Seriously, Roy, you can't let go through with this. With customers, Becky, I, I suggest you concern yourself with them. I'm going now. You are doing the right thing. Oh, you look lovely, Ailey, don't you, Roy? Wish me luck. With bells on. You'll be in my thoughts. Hayley all right? She, she has an appointment. Nothing too serious, I hope. What can I get you? What? One cup of eco-friendly coffee, please. I'll bring it right over. Thank you. And if you need any help just winding up that kettle, you just give me a shout. Because I could do with a workout. Roy, one of us should have gone with her. I'm sure she can manage quite adequately by herself. I'm not hearing this. The woman is in bits. Haley has made a decision. We should respect it. What, even if it's like the mega mistake of a life? I'm sorry, I can't do that. The, the truth is, it's never a mistake. <laughs> Believe what you want, Roy, but she's doing this for you. That's the truth. You know it and I know it. Bluebirds are track three. Enjoy. Thank you. I swear that guy hasn't got home. I'm sorry if this is a bad time. Oh no, no. Morning I've had. It's nice to see a friendly face. I brought you this. I meant to give it you before. All right. It's really nice, but I'm not exactly religious. He belonged to your father. Meant a great deal to him. I'll get out your way. Bye, Christine. Hey, where are you going? Coffee and a muffin. Best offer in town, guaranteed. Oh, are you sure he's no trouble? Trust me, you'll be doing me a favour. The Bormeister over there asks for another request. My head's gonna explode. <laughs> I wanted to call, but, you know, what happened with your husband? I'm so sorry about that, the way he was. Nah, it's cool. I've just been protective. I mean, it's not like you know us from Adam. Honestly, what's done is done. I'm just glad you came back. What do you mean that? Wouldn't say it if I didn't.
You got me thinking about my dad. You know, more questions and stuff. I want to answer them if I can. Just whatever you can tell us. Okay. Christian, I... I'm sorry about that. What were you saying? It doesn't matter. Sure? No, yeah, nothing important. Now that it's raining more than ever, when we will have each other, you can stand under my umbrella. You can stand under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh. Hey! Are we listening to that? Couldn't tell him. Not to worry, eh? Weren't the right time. Wait, please. A B and B bar now, if it weren't for Audrey. Hey, she enjoys having you some. Well, I owe one. How do you egg? What was Sally throwing you out? Nah, Kevin Sal's been brilliant. Just didn't want to overstay me welcome. Two cheese and pickle on one. Yeah. Cheers. Here's the furry out of this. <laughs> See ya. Oh, cheers, Roymond. You are a gent. You are welcome. Hey, I wish I had a pound coin for every time I'd run out of pound coins. Is my auntie about one? Uh, she. Haley's uh, at work. <clears throat> Right. Hiya. Hiya. I was hoping to catch Ailey. Oh, yeah, she'll bob back at dinner. Um, sit down. I'll make you a brew. Is that OK? Yeah. I'll look after Christian, Roy. You, um, you go and do your washing up. Thank you. It was my dad's. Ailey gave it me. Do, do you know, <laughs> he's all over show today. <laughs> Go and do your washing up. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Wash it up. Long now. Oh, no, it's on the house. Oh, much appreciated. Well, I dropped it twice, put a side <laughs> up and all. Can I, uh, lend you ketchup? That's, uh, that's not good, is it? Well, if Kelly so makes the connection with Haley. Oh, don't. Sound garden on Ashton Road. Oh, you're not into all that indie rubbish, are you? Christian, um, you couldn't come and solve the mysteries of this grill, could you? Well, I'll give it a go. Christian. What's the weird? What? The grill. Oh, I'll, I'll leave Becky to fill you in. Oh, what a tangled web we leave. Excuse what? Excuse me. He's wearing your cross. His father's, actually. Thanks for that. Well, the lie is now embodied in a cross all around his neck. If I were God-fearing, I'd be petrified. Kelly, we're about to get in third degree. No. Becky, into the... Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, this time, disaster was averted. All right, Roy, I think you've made your point. Evidently to no effect. Hello, sausage toasty tar. Oh, yes, of course. Right, do you go to the theatre much? Well, not as much as we should. Why? Do they sell fruit pastels in boxes? Suits you. I'm terrified of losing it. Weird or what? I, I put a different chain on. Don't do bling. Very nice. Huh? I haven't been the other one. No? Be the closest I'll ever get to him now. He'd be glad it means so much to you. It's better than me Smith's 12-inch white label. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind a chance to say goodbye to him, to be honest. Well, alone goodbye. Right. Is he buried around here? What's up? I'm really sorry, Christine. I was cremated. Sorry. 
Okay, I'll be in touch. Take her for lunch, my treat. Yeah. Cremated. I couldn't think of anything else to say. I didn't want to get into non-existent Ed storms. Oh, don't look at me like that, please. None of this is easy. What else was I supposed to say? How about the truth? <sighs> I've tried. You know that I have, but I just can't find the words. And we're just starting to bond. You cannot build a meaningful relationship with your son based on a lie. Oh, leave it, boy, please. Look, what if Kelly had been the one to tell it? What if she had put two and two together and made trouble? If ifs and ands are pots and pans. It's gathering a life of its own now. Next time Kelly sees him, she'll be dragging him off to the rover's return. Not necessarily. Perhaps Janice Battersby will be the one to break it to him. Please, just stop. Gladly. In fact, from now on, I shall totally ignore him. Why? Because every syllable from my lips is tantamount to a lie. Is my aunt about? I validate that question simply by answering it. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to add to your misery or compound your guilt. I'm simply telling you that I cannot operate within this framework of lies. How can I explain it to him? Oh, a difficulty, but you'll do it. Do you want him, really, to end up with half-truths from factory women? You know that I don't. Please don't look at me like that. He wanted to pay respects. Perhaps you should pay him some respect. I know. His face. All right, it's, it's just that it's hard, that's all. But it's not going to get any easier, is it? As sure as the sun rises and the sun sets, you always do do the right thing. Hiya. It's all going to court you. Um, listen, I was thinking that if you're not doing anything after work, maybe we could meet up and I could show you where Harold's ashes are scattered. Honest? I finish at half five. <laughs> what music did he like? Oh, um, Genesis. No way. Earth, wind, and fire. Super Trump, Jerry Rafferty. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> you care about how things look, don't you? Less so now. Is it much further? No. Don't sound too sure. nice enough, but what's wrong with Old Trafford? Here. Yeah. Blimey. Your father was a very unhappy man. Oh, so he keeps saying. My childhood weren't exactly a barrel of laughs. No, no, I mean deeply unhappy. How to kill two with the world. Why'd you cut him so much slack? He was uneasy in his own skin. Every day of his life was an endurance test. So what was he? Manic depressive? No stigma to that these days. It wasn't a life, it was an existence. I haven't been honest with you, Christine, and I'm so sorry. What are you talking about? I didn't mean to lie to you, please believe me. Oh, just tell me! Cut the riddles and tell me what you know! Harold's still alive. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. My father's alive. But you said oh, no. Dad, lie. Why would you lie about something like that?
all this time. There's me thinking it was too late to get to know him. Too late to put things right. And now... I'm sorry, I know it's a lot to take in. You even told me his ashes were scattered here. How sick is that? This place was very special to him, that much is true. Hayley. I know I don't know you all that well, but up until now, you seem like a very straightforward person. I'm doing my best. Someone with integrity. So I just don't understand why you would lie like that. Saying your own brother's dead. He's got you to cover for him, hasn't he? He don't want to meet me, so he's got you to make up a lot of stupid stories. No, really, it's not like that at all. So what is it like? Roy, is it all right if I finish off that bit of ham? Yeah, yeah help, help yourself, yes. Ta. I'll wab it on a doorstep, put a decent lining in my stomach. Sorry? Doorstep, thick cut butty, soaks up the alcohol. I see. Fancy night on the lash. I'll need it when it all goes pie shit. Do you know, you can be quite a pessimist at times. She's been gone ages. That's not necessarily a bad thing. So, what what exactly do you think has happened then? Ailey said, oh, I know you think I'm your auntie, but actually, I was your daddy. And Christian's just chucked his arms around her and gone, cool. It is not right for any relationship to be based on a lie. Ignorance is bliss, Roy, and I should know. Any time anyone finds out truth about me, I run a mile. Harold was a very troubled person. You've told me all no, this. No, I need you to understand just how very confused and unhappy he was. His early days were absolute hell, and he did his best to hide it, but in the end, he just couldn't go on. Has he done something really terrible you just don't no, want me to know no, about? No, 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 it's more complicated than that. He had to make a really difficult choice to be true to himself, even though he knew that he'd end up hurting the people closest to him. Oh, Hayley, please. The more you tell me, the less I understand. I'm sorry I lied to you. I only did it to protect you. Just tell me. It's me. What's you? Me. I was Harold. That's how I was born. I'm a woman now, but I was a man. Christine, I'm your father. I'm so sorry that I lied to you. Leave me alone. I'm asking you, please, if you can find a way to forgive me. Maybe not now, but, but in time. You see, I've always wanted a child. I don't want to wear it! You see, I wanted you to get to know me as me. Maybe even get to like me, but without all the complications. Back off! You see, to me, Harold should never have been born. It was like a cruel trick of nature. A mistake! So what the hell does that make me? Oh, Christian... Get away from me! Oh, please, uh, help me to help you to understand, please. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should go and look for her. I don't think that would be helpful. It's driving me mental, is this? Why don't you go home? I bet she's freaked out. Just a total wobbler. Not everyone's as liberal as you and me, Roy. Whatever's happened, Haley will be gratified that she's done the right thing. She's, she's told the truth.
Are you all right? What's happened to you? Oh, your panic is not as bad as it looks. You're looking all right. It's like no one's clocked you on that. Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. No, it's, it's these shoes. They're ever so slippy. Well, you fell over. Yeah, yeah, I feel that stupid. They knew you see, and I usually take a scouring bat at Sol, you know, rough them up and pin. Right. Look. Get in the car, I'll drive you home. Oh, yeah? no, 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 I'm fine. The walk will do me good, it'll clear my head. Hey, I can't leave you like this. No, honestly, I'll be home in a minute. I'll have a quick wash, dab a TCP, I'll be right as rain. Look, I really. Please, just leave me alone. Okay, if you're sure. Why is this in it dark? Uh, saving electricity. Yes, it's no good for reading, of course, but it does create a pleasant ambience. Did you... Hayley, what's happened? He hates me. You're bleeding. I've lost him, Roy. He never wants to see me again. Did... did Christian do that to you? Yeah. Hit a woman? That's unforgivable. It's an absolute disgrace. He doesn't think of me as a woman, Roy. To him, I'm some sort of freak. Get dressed. We'll, we'll report him to the police. That's the last thing I want. But you must. He's hit you. It's assault. Please, just hold me. Shall I call them or do you want to go in person? Typical, Roy. It must be so brilliant being you. Always knowing exactly what needs to be done. No self-doubt, no question in your mind. Everything's so completely black and white. Please, Haley. Christian has hurt you. You must go to the police. There are laws, there are rules in place. I don't blame him for hitting me. It's not his fault. Are oh, you letting your emotions run away with you? I don't blame him. I blame you. But you couldn't go on pretending to be something you're not. I had a son. We still do. I had a son, and because of you, I've lost him forever. You don't know that. You can't be sure. I saw the way you looked at me. But you had to tell him sooner or later. Shut up! You got what you wanted. You got your precious truth. Well, I hope it were worth it. Now go away and leave me alone. I can't stand the sight of you. Would you mind not, please? You're making me nervous. Have you not seen Cocktail Run? So, now's the patient. Hayley, you seem like quite a nasty fall, although it's probably a pride this morning, isn't you? Well, quite. Would you, would you like beans with this? Yes, please. Is that she seemed, you know, really shaken. I could bring it over if you prefer. There's uh, magazines and newspapers in the corner for your enjoyment. Uh, refresh, Hayley. Talk about the morning from hell. Stupid cow upstairs left a tap running again. Third time this month. Claim on the insurance, she says. What insurance? There's a fresh penny on the side, then. Oh, I've missed Ailey and all now, haven't I? How's it go? Roy. You've not missed her. She's upstairs. She doesn't wish to be disturbed. Roy, when you're ready. Beans. Flipping egg. Freaking me out, Ailes. What happened? Who hit you? My son. Not that I can ever call him that again. Christian. Christian smacked you in the face. He was repulsed. What I said made his flesh crawl. No. No, don't say that. You couldn't. No, you didn't see him, Becky. He's a sweet and gentle boy, and the sight of me, his auntie, who was a man who was his father, well, it made him lash out. Let's kill him. No! No. Well, I'll, I'll punch him in the face then, see how he likes it. No. You'll do no such thing. It's finished, Becky. I've messed up. I wish I hadn't, but I haven't. Now I've got to learn to live with it. So's Roy. I thought I was happy. Lovely husband, good friends. The job I enjoy. I thought, Ailey, you've arrived. <laughs> and then I found out about Christian and this whole new life opened up in front of me. And he weren't a meathead or a loser. He was a nice lad, with interests and opinions. Fancied I could see a little bit of myself in him. <laughs> I pictured us walking on the beach at 
Bamburgh and talking into at night by a roaring fire, listening to his crazy music. <laughs> Being Roy on the top table at his wedding. Belonging. Maybe grandkids one day. You'd make a brilliant grandma. Well, I know they were only daft dreams, but they're gone now. He might change his mind. He won't. He won't. My life's the same as it always was. And it's honest. Ray thinks that should be enough, but it's not now. Empty. Locally sourced food costs more. We have a choice. Raise prices or reduce portion size. We've opted for quality over quantity. An army marches on its stomach. I wasn't aware you declared war. I'm declaring it now. There's no need for aggression. Call this aggression? I haven't even limbered up. But that I would like to see. Keep out of it, big deal, McNeil. Hey, I'm the second battalion. I think we're stretching the analogy. Not as much as you're stretching my patience. I came in for a meal. Meat and tater pie with the full accompaniments. How far the tater travelled and the lamb's dying words are no concern of mine. What the hell is going on? He's trying to skin us, that's what. Two poor pensioners, one square meal a day, and this fella's cutting corners. Roy, will you not learn? You ordered a tea cake. It's the principle. Go upstairs. How may one cut corners on a tea cake? Your wife <laughs> needs you. Well, it's not butter for a start. No, belt up and button it, you two. Roy! Your marriage is collapsing round your ears and all you can talk about is flaming tea cakes. What happens if the customer is always right? Sit down and I might just get to you. Values are important. It's ramming your values down other people's throats that's got you into this mess. Go upstairs, talk to Hayley and put things right. Because if you carry on like this, you'll have no customers and no wife left, neither. In a minute. Hayley. I'm not staying cooped up in here. Get some air. Good. Yes, I I'll join you. No. B Becky said what? you were... That I need looking after. I need some peace. Do, do you want some glasses? To cover this up? Well, I would have thought you In would... case people think you did it? I, I hope people wouldn't think I was capable. Because you did do it. As good as. You told me to stick my finger in the fire and I did because I trusted you. Are you condoning that man's violence? That man's name is Christian. You can't be that blind. No, not anymore. I've learnt my lesson. I'll never stick my finger in the fire again and I will never take advice from you. Ah. Takings. I've locked up and done a quick brush round, but... Roy, where is she? How are we doing? I think we must prepare ourselves for a temporary backlash. Change is always threatening. She went out hours ago. Is the phone off? I'm gonna leave her a message. Blanche is a case in point. She's not gone for a stroll, Roy. She's left you. Can't you see that? Don't you care? Of course I care. Then do something! What can I do if she doesn't want to talk to oh. me? Where are you going? Where do you think? To look for her! This is where you've been hiding. Checking out the competition. Come on. I can't. Roy is worried sick. He, he don't know what to do. 
Roy wants everything to be simple. Black and white, good and bad. Well, life's messy and complicated. People make mistakes. Of course they do. But if you love them, you stand by them. You don't point the finger and jump ship. You don't give them ultimatums. You need to tell him all this. Twice he asked me to choose, and both times I sided with him. What, and now you regret it? Well, at least with Christian, I had some hope. I thought we could have had a future. You scare me now, Ailes. You've got a future with Roy. Have I? Have I really? Yes! We don't respect each other, we don't trust each other. What is there left? I don't know anymore. How can I go? Hayley? Ah, oh, Becky. Oh, can you not bring her back? Is this a polite way of saying she won't come? I see. Uh, she'll spend the night with you. I, I see. Couldn't she have told me this herself? Well, well, thank you, Becky. Uh, would just tell her... Tell her... I'm waiting. Change your clothes, you can't stay in them all day. I can. Well, just go straight in, straight up the stairs and out again. Won't keep my eyes and ears shut the whole time. You won't say out. Exactly, you won't say what I want to hear you. One of you's got to make the first move. It's only eight o'clock. Where's Hayley? Gone to work. It's too early. She might take a straw around block. You look as if you hadn't slept. I closed my eyes for a short while. Hayley didn't. Yes, well... You've got to talk to her, Roy. I can't. You can. She's not here. She's not down the road. Oh, I've got to finish this. It's nothing. What happened? I fell over. I weren't looking where I was going. It's nasty, Amy. Eh? Well, I can still swallow. There's no problem there. Do you mind if I go inside? Yeah, of course. Go on. The door's open. What's been up with her, then? She's not sane. What's up with you? Can't you sleep? What, to make a start with the VAT? Oh, you're as keen as Rosie. Am I? Do they call it an all-day breakfast? Cos you've got to wait all day for it. We'll be with you in a minute, Lunch. You've said that twice already. Why don't you sit down with your nice cup of tea? Because you haven't given me any milk. Oh, there you are. There's a drop in there for you. Ah, oh, service with a smile again. Roy, you are scaring the customers. Sorry. No, you're not. Go and phone Ailey. No. You want to talk to her? I don't. You do? Tell her to come here at lunchtime. We'll be too busy. <laughs> we won't be too busy Excuse for you. Excuse me. Roy Charles from Price speaking. Oh, hello, Tristan. Oh, there you are. Call that breakfast? Well, it's a start. It's not properly browned. Are you saving electricity again? You know, burnt toast is bad for you. I don't want it black. I don't want it white. I want it brown. Roy? That, that was the supplier. Apparently, it can't bring milk or eggs until tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not waiting that long. You might have to. Death sells eggs. No, they won't be free range. But do you think I care? I haven't exactly roamed the world myself. We have standards. You've got hungry customers. She's right. I know. Do something about it. What? I'm not buying from the corner shop. You've got two choices, then. Lay them yourself or go to fresh goes. Well, I'm not keen on the, the, the two big yeah. supermarkets. Shall I go? Don't leave him here on his own. I couldn't stand it. At least I get a conversation out of you. Of sorts. Right. 
I'll go. What, what, what if I can't find anything? I, I, I don't know where anything is. The eggs are oval and the milk is white. You won't be going far wrong. And take my phone, cos if we run out of OLs, I shall ring you, yeah? Well, what, what, what do you do? Look, you just flip it like that when it rings, right? right? So milk and eggs, Roy. Yeah? Milk, milk, milk and eggs. Milk and Roy! Eggs. What? Court, love. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. Milk and eggs. Milk and eggs. Milk and eggs. Roy, enjoying yourself? Roy? Oh, hello. You know there's milk in the fridge? Th th this is fresher. Yeah, but you need a knife to get in there. I, I don't carry a knife. No, no, I didn't think you did. Is it... Why do they need all this packaging? I if they used local dairies, they wouldn't need half this cardboard and polythene. Yeah. Uh, not so nearly for a bit. She all right? They used to deliver milk in churns. Well, years ago, maybe. Same churn every day. Packaging goes to landfill. Local, is it? Have a wrist with. Right. Well, see you then. South Wales again. What's the... Can I help you, sir? Uh, yeah, I, I'm. I'm looking for some local free-range eggs. Oh, um, these are free-range. Uh, they're from the Cotswolds. Um, these Shropshire. They have to be local. You won't find any Weatherfield eggs, that's for sure. <laughs> um, how about the Lake District? Local implies easily accessible, preferably within walking distance. There aren't any. Uh, your, your mobile's ringing. That's not mine. It's in your pocket. What do I do with it? Hello. Roy? Yeah. Roy, you should be back by now. Right. Grab some and come home. I can't. South Wales is almost 200 miles away. No, no. Hayley will be on a dinner break soon. Forget South Wales. Come back. Any improvement? Right, still at fresh cars. But you can have another cup of tea. I've got Molly to bring some milk over. You mightn't see Roy for hours. This cafe is his padded cell. He leaves it at his peril. He won't come to any grief at Fresh Goes. He might. But if these were local, you wouldn't need all this packaging. These days, supermarkets are full of cardboard and plastic. Well, eggs have got to be in boxes. No, they haven't. I can carry them. We don't sell loose eggs. I'll take them in my bag. Oh. Oh, I, I, I can't let you do that. Look, everything is fine. There's no. nothing wrong. All I need is a bag. Oh. The, the, I'll, I'll hold the others. You go and get a bag. Paper, not plastic. All I want is a, is a bag. Look, I'll need some more. I'll, I'll, I'll need some more. I want fresh, local, free-range eggs in a bag. That's what I want. That's what I came here for. Sir, sir just, just, just calm down. Look, everything is fine. Everything is all right. I just need a bag. There's nothing wrong. I just want a bag. It's all right. There's nothing wrong. It's all right. I'll clear up this mess. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing. There's nothing. They break eggs. Oh, I don't know. Maybe knock them over or something. The manager wants someone to take him home. All oh, right, well, you better uh, stay at the cafe. Oh, Blanche can look after it. No. Does that help? Yes, yes thank you. I appreciate your kindness. Freshco recently made a commitment to reduce unnecessary packaging 
You can read it in our latest mission statement. Yes, I, I know. Um, it's just um, I've been under pressure recently. I was worrying about things. We all do that from time to time. I hope you'll accept my apology. You made quite a mess. I'll, I'll clear it up. No, there's no need. No, you sit down, Mr. Cropper. Everything's under control. Roy! Oh, uh, Hayley. Are you all right? Uh, yes. You uh, broke some eggs? Yeah, well, th there was an accident. Uh, Mr. Morris here has been very kind. Your husband got into a state. I, I had some problems with the packaging. It's all right, Roy. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I've, I've explained. I've apologised. There was a bit of a mess, but no lasting damage. Well, I'll pay for anything that Mr. Cropper bought and any other expenses. Oh, that won't be necessary. Mr. Cropper has arranged to settle the bill. Yeah. I should uh, like to go home now. We didn't think he should leave the store by himself. No, no. Put your clothes on, right. Let's go. <laughs> oh, uh... Thank you. Thank you. You've had a rest? Yes. So are you going to tell me what really happened now? You had stayed out all night. You knew where I was. I couldn't sleep. When I get tired, I get confused. I've not slept in days. Should have come home. <sighs> what for? You don't talk to me. I try. I've needed you more than ever before, and you've not listened to anything I've said. I listen to every word. I, I go over each conversation again and again. You may repeat things, Roy, but you don't understand them. Why did you come and fetch me? Why didn't you leave me there? I'm not sure. We love each other. How have we come to this? I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't eat. It doesn't matter. You went to a lot of trouble. No, I didn't. It only took a couple of minutes. That's a kind thought. Kinder than staying away last night. You're not obliged to come home every evening. You don't have to ask my permission to stay with a friend. I knew it would upset you. I'm sorry. Please, please. Don't apologise. I'm the one who caused all this upset, not you. We know how to hate each other, don't we? But I was being vindictive. You were just doing what you thought was best. Perhaps, uh, perhaps I was too quick to make judgment. Perhaps. Will, uh, will you see Christian again? Why should I? Well, here's your son. We've lived without each other all these years. I'm not foolish enough to think that he needs me. If he got to know you, Hayley, he'd need you. Possibly. Unlikely, though. Anyway, I've been more than happy with you. It's different now. You've lost your child. Yeah, I have, in a manner of speaking. But you're the person I've chosen to spend my life with. You're the important one. In spite of all this mess. The world's full of cracked eggs. Can we be happy again, Hayley? I hope so. Hope? Let's, let's hear things go. Yes. Do you in? Well, he's still shaking up. Yeah, we both are. So what are you going to do? I don't know. He's really not ready to go back to work. You don't look too clever yourself. Why don't you go away for a bit? Couldn't. Am I not? I can look after this place. Oh, well, you're gonna have to start trusting me sometime. Yeah, but you couldn't. You couldn't run the place by yourself, could you? Well, no. Obviously, I'd need some help. But if you and Roy are in no fit state, well, we're not really. So there's your answer, isn't it? Trees are destroyed each year, so that this junk mail can go straight into the bin. Uh. Just been on the phone to a campsite near Lake Windermere. They've got plenty of space. Why don't we go away for a couple of weeks? That will solve our problems, will it? Camping jaunt? No, but it, it'll give us a break and a chance to talk. And uh, he'll look after the cafe? 
Becky's offered. Now, she's a lot more responsible than she used to be, and it's so lovely and peaceful up there this time of year. And that's what I require now, is it? Special treatment, peace and tranquility. Perhaps I do. Perhaps this is what is called a nervous breakdown. You've just been under a lot of stress. I so have you. You didn't have to be apprehended and restrained in a public place. Well, we all have our different ways of coping. Some better than others. The fact is, we both need to get away. The problems between us, though, Haley. Change of scenery isn't going to fix that. I'm back. I was thinking um, I might get away for a few days myself, if you don't want to. I see. I can't say much more of this. I'm sorry. No, I'm not interested in blame anymore, Roy. I just want to put things right between us. I still feel battered from that meeting with Christian. The way he looks at me like I was some sort of freak. You are not a freak, Hayley. <sighs> well, that's how most people see me, Roy, and if I think otherwise, I'm kidding myself. No one with a fair mind has a bad thing to say about you. Well, at least he was honest. Christian has other things to deal with which colour his view. I apologise for this phrase, deal with. My brain is not at its sharpest today. We're still good together, aren't we? I would hope so. We make each other happy. Oh, yes. Well, don't you think we deserve a bit of a break, then, to help us get over this? Re-establish trust? Yes, might be an idea after all. Shall I book that campsite, then? We also need to put the new tent through its paces, come to think of it, before the 30-day right of return expires. Oh, well, that clinches it, then. <laughs> I'm so glad you've sorted things out. I wouldn't go that far. No, but you're on the right road. I'm hoping so. You know, I, I could kill that Christian for what he did to you. Yeah, well, that wouldn't melt matters, would it? All the same. Just let me deal with him, all right? Yeah, all right. So, did you find some help for me in cafe? Yeah. That's the only thing. Um, most of the people that I asked were tied up, unfortunately. But we did find someone in the end. Oh, good. Who? Blanche. Blanche. We won't be away for long. Aww. You work in here, want my idea, but beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Oh, can they not? So, you know, just do what you can. Clearing tables, serving on. Not expecting miracles, love. It's a miracle you're expecting anybody to work with you at all, taking that tone. What tone? There's no tone. I'm just saying, you're old and decrepit and I don't expect you to do much. I'll tell you what I shan't be doing. I shan't be stopping here to be talked to like that. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? I'm going home. Well, I, I thought you told Ellie you are going to help me. Because she asked me to. Because she made out like you were desperate and could do with some help. She didn't say that I were going to be insulted the minute I got here. Oh, I wasn't insulting you. Telling me I'm old and decrepit? All right, then you, you're not. Is that an apology? Yes, if you like. If it was, I'd like to hear it. I'm sorry I called you something you didn't like. Now, uh, shall we have a chat about this job, sort out who's doing what, yeah? When I've had a rest. And a cup of tea, you'd be most welcome. Rovers? I've all gone camping with Ailey. Camping? Proper camping? In a tent? I imagine. Cows sticking their heads in and creepy crawlies getting your gym jams. Never do for me that. You ever been camping, Blanche? Not since I were a girl guide. Yeah, I love 270 town. A girl guide? I bet you're a picture in your uniform now, ain't you? I did all my badges. They covered both arms. Secret lives, eh? I'd never have guessed that. Ladies? I take my leave. See you, Lloyd. Are you sure they've gone camping? Of course I am. So when Haley asked me to help out, why did she say sorry it were last minute? Because they suddenly had to get away. Well, because some campsite had just come vacant. I, I, I don't know, do I? Is it medical? 
Has one of them been taken in for something? Maybe. When she said they had to get away, it was a question of getting away from somebody. Have you thought of that? No, of course you haven't. Getting away from who? Never mind from who. Just... Do you think you can stop yakking for like ten minutes and clear some tables? Thank you. Blanche? What? I'm going to close the cafe for a bit. Close it? I have to go out and, let's be honest, you're not capable of running it by yourself, are you? And did you do this when Roy was here? Go in and out when you felt like it? If Roy was here, I wouldn't have to. I mean, I'm doing this on his behalf. And no, don't ask me what I mean by that, cos I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, four custard slices, three Eccles cakes, please. Sorry, Fizz. Cafe closed. We'll be open again in a bit. Right, listen, everyone. Can you drink up now, please? The cafe is closing. It's an emergency. Oh. <laughs> you like hitting women, do you? Well, try hitting me and see what you get. Cos I'm not ailing. Will you stop me? Get away! Come on, Christian! Hit me up again! Will you stop it, you mad woman? Stop it! Let me go! When was she gonna behave yourself? No! You're gonna stop hitting me! Might do! Okay? I'm gonna let you go now, but just behave! Did that. Haley is the nicest, kindest person I have ever met. And if I ever found out that she were my mum or dad, either, both, whatever, because it don't matter, I'd just be like, great, fantastic. What I wouldn't do is behave like a coward and a bully and go into hell. Which I shouldn't have done, I know. Oh, you do, do you? But from my point of view, it wasn't a woman I was eating, it was me dad. Oh, well, that's all right then. Look, I've never met me dad right. I've not even seen a picture of him, so all I got was this idea in my head. Oh, yeah, and you won't like Ailey? Not a lot, no. I don't care. She is great, and you are nothing. And I just wanted you to know that. She sent you, did she? Sent me. Don't get it, do you? She was that upset, she's had to go away, Roy's taking her. She ain't got a clue I'm here. And if she had, she'd have stopped me from coming. Do you know why? Do you know why? Why? Because even though you're the scum that hurt her, she would not have wanted to hurt you. And that is how good she is. What are you having, Blanche? Watch poison. A large gin and tonic, thank you. You always ask for a large. You can do that when you get to my age. Hey, right, a large gin and tonic and a cider, Michelle, please. Coming up. So, what do you plan doing with your life? What can you do? Either waste it or make something of it. I reckon I've wasted most of it so far. You mean, do I want to get married and have kids? Most folk do. Yeah. Because you think kids are going to love you and look after you. Mm, doesn't always work out like that, though, does it? I know someone found out they had a kid. Some. Yeah, it don't matter. Go on. I like a good tale. Mm. This ain't good. All I'm saying, kids are a gamble, aren't they? And some folk lose. <laughs> 